trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise and that is I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38 verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Bless you. I was so humbled and touched when I saw Pastor just challenging people to stand by this work. Um, one of my prayers for the body of Christ is that God will continue to give us an enlightened understanding about the power of partnership to be able to stand with and by a man of God without coercion, without manipulation. And I was humbled and even broken seeing him do this. Hallelujah. And for the parents, thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you so much, Mommy. Pastor Ike, thumbs up. May God bless you before the service is done. I'll be praying for you and your wife. Your life will never be the same. The Bible says they go from strength to strength as many as appear before the Lord in Zion. Hallelujah. We're gathered here tonight. Some of you are men and women of God. Some of you are captains of industry. Some of you are individuals who just aspire to be used by God in a marvelous way. And some of you are following online from whatever nation, from whatever place. He brings us here to bless our lives. This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. This is the place of surrender. as a gift and I'm standing in that dense cloud of his presence and that atmosphere then I see this angel standing by me and he says this angel will walk with you and I said what is his name and he said he is the angel of the Lord's presence and so all of the signs and the wonders that you see they happen for various reasons number one because Jesus is glorified. The protocol is that when you lift up the name of Jesus and you glorify him, 
in and through your life and in and through what you do, he's, he's obliged by, by the character of his integrity to back you with his presence. But then, furthermore, God can step into covenants with men. Not Old Testament, not New Testament. Personal covenants with men that become the portal for certain possibilities to find expression in their lives and then from their lives to the nations. Hallelujah. I just want you to pray one prayer with desperation that the grace and the mantle and the dimension of the spirit are located for you as far as this conference is concerned that will set you in a place of dominion in experience that may the Lord grant you access to it tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. Go ahead and pray. Asaba, are you praying? East of the Niger, south, south. They looked up to him and their faces were lightened. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. that will begin to happen to men please I want you to bring them out seven times remember the mystery of seven it took seven times around Jericho then seven times on the seventh day it took seven times for Naaman to dip himself in Jordan is someone ready to change his level according to the word of the Lord seven times I will prompt you and you will shout hallelujah by the seventh time there are some of you who have fasted and prayed. You have seen certain dimensions of grace and power. At that seventh shout, it's like the cloud of the wind of the spirit that will carry you to another realm and another dimension. Please, whether you are an usher or not, at the seventh shout, I want you to bring the people here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you ready now?
Magabata leka parusiata. At the seven shout. Seven. Bring them out. That grace. Palegadera kusiata gata. Please bring them. Enekaris kodela tosia. There are a 
are a few of you here who have the call of God upon your life. You have been fasting, you have been praying. Some of you, God has been testing you with little opportunities in ministry. But now, it's time for you to begin to walk in the anointing of your destiny. I don't know where you are scattered in this auditorium, but I call upon my God, who is your God, the anointing of man, the Boras, Josephs, Gideons. I sound a shofar, and in the name of Jesus, anyone with the call of God upon his life, may the grace that separates you, that consecrates you for that level of ministry, take that fire now. Let it come upon your destiny now. Please focus on what Jesus is doing tonight. This lady, this lady looking at me with her hands shaking. I'm seeing an angel pour something like oil on her head. And the Lord is saying he's going to shift this lady to a new dimension in the spirit. I stretch my hands right now. I don't know who she is. I don't know her name. But the Lord is saying he's separating you. And he will walk wonders in Abakatakatozigata. There is a grace for prophetic prayer and intercession. In every region, there are men and women God is recruiting. Men who understand the art of the altar. They know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar until revival comes. I came here tonight to release that grace. Where are they, oh God? From the length and the breadth of this place. Women like Anna the prophetess. Men like Simeon. The grace to travail at the count of three. May that man to find your destiny. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Oh, warrior in the spirit, arise. Arise in power. Please help him. Hallelujah. You will soon be seated. Just be patient with me. The Lord is doing a quick walk in me. There are people who God wants to deliver from the spirit of fear. You have lived perpetually in fear. There are realms you would have stepped into. But everything God has told you, the fear of moving forward. The fear of what people will say. The fear of yesterday. You are my hiding place. You always feel my heart. like this I want you to know that Jesus is here more than a man of God this is not a show this is the Lord Jesus revealing himself in the midst of his people and calling them to deeper levels Just allow the Holy Spirit to do what he's doing. You don't have to be out here. Something is happening to you. There is a breaking of the flesh. There is a release.
given of the spirit you will leave this place and see that things have changed in your life saying I should tell you remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for the Lord is saying I should tell you behold I do a new thing and I pray the past that is holding on to you and will not let you go I break you free from it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me a woman seven years you've not had a child who is that the Lord wants to change your life now seven years seven years is there a woman like that there are cries of adoration I see men from every nation lift their voice to make your glory know for the fruit of the womb I saw seven years who is that these two women why are these ones here huh Angela I want to pray for you the power of God is coming on two of you just stand where you are I just saw light coming on two of you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare for Angela my God is shifting you to a new season I'm seeing light coming. The power of God is coming up. Let this be the beginning of a new season for you. In the name of Jesus and by the spirit of the Christ, I declare that the limitations that you came for this meeting with, may they leave you like smoke before the wind. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands now, even by the spirit. I saw the power of God coming on two of you. May that anointing that makes for the next level of your destiny, May that grace be released upon you now. In the mighty and even the marvelous name of Jesus Christ, I declare this even by the Spirit of God. You will never be the same. By that anointing, one of you, that anointing that is coming on you is the grace for restoration. You have lost several things in your life and the Lord is telling you that he is going to restore. The little one is also Angela. In the name of Jesus, I pray. 
that the hand of God will rest upon you right now. In Jesus' name. Seven years you're trusting God. Who is Ifunaya? Ifunaya, there is Ami. I just heard the name Ifunaya. You'll be seated shortly. Ifunaya, is there someone like that? What are you turning to wine? You open the eyes of the blind. There's no return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit listen when you see God walk like this please listen let me say this hold on you see more than just showing that a man is powerful if that is all you see you have not seen well you see clearly when you see Jesus lifted and glorified in and through the frailty of men are we together this is what I want you to see beyond the manifestations of men to see you high and lifted up you are shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love sweet sing holy 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 we'll see I stretch my hands and I pray for you everything that has not been planted by my God at work in your life and at work in your destiny I come here tonight visiting this land and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus as revealed to me by the spirit of the living God let it come to an end now there is someone there's something growing among those in front here there's something in your stomach that the devil has put is a growth I see the healing power of Jesus touching it right now there is a strong anointing coming on you right now the Lord is bringing healing I'm going to be praying for the sick shortly but in the name of Jesus that every tree that has not been oh my God there is no hiding place in the name of Jesus for the light shineth in darkness the Bible says and the darkness comprehended it not I declare let it be out of your body now let it be out of your system now out of your body now and out of your system now and for all of you in front here that I called I decree and declare rise to a new dimension in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now I know that there are many people here who may belong or desire this category I'm about to call but there is a particular gentleman there is a particular gentleman that God 
is calling into two dimensions. One is a strong prophetic teaching grace, and then the other is a very strong healing anointing. I know there are many people who do the impartation, but I, I have, I'm, I'm submitted to the spirit of the living God. There is a gentleman, he's going to shout under the anointing now in the congregation, not among those who are here. Please let me have that gentleman. I want to speak over his life in obedience to the things that I see. Jesus is more than good. If all I have is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I'll tell it to my world. Hallelujah. One of the things, one of the things that I was very impressed with when, when I stepped in here was Pastor Ike giving visibility to one of our lovely daughters here, the lady who ministered. Now, you see, one of the things you have to learn in leadership is that a good leader does not just maintain followers. You must be able to raise and train people and give them visibility. Some of them will downplay your relevance. Don't worry. Already designed in the law is a system of honor that will not bend. Hallelujah. Now, so that lady, what's her name? Huh? Peace. May God bless you. Come, you're going to sing a song for me here. Anansi, hallelujah. Anansi, hallelujah. Come on, South South. over that spirit before I pray for the sick delay whole families tied under the yoke of these wicked spirits 
there are men and women of God very gracious loving love Jesus with all their hearts but this delay I want to rebuke that spirit now are you ready now from the front to the back delay alongside every spirit that does not name the name of Christ at the tree I want you to shout that name Jesus and hear me believers if God be God with that shout Tehillah that comes the end of Jericho as a limitation over your life are you ready now I decree and declare by the power of the prophetic and in the name of Jesus that anyone here who is a victim of delay that includes every family every business every ministry for as long as that delays in your life it must answer to the power of the blood at the count of three shout Jesus are you ready now one two three shout Jesus I command delay go now I release you everyone help this woman who is a victim of delay every family every ministry in your time tonight you will marvel and wonder the testimonies that begin to happen to you now hear me please I'm beginning to sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing and I left attempting your body death attempting is an administration sickness is within the office of death because the final journey of sickness is that it causes a deterioration to your body to an extent that your spirit can no longer stay in your body are we together I want to pray for you now for all those in the front here I want to speak over their lives and then they can go back to their seats so that I pray for the sick Jesus again will be glorified in Asaba for all those who are in front I decree and declare the Lord brought you here by his spirit and by the power that raised Christ from the dead if there be any spirit that is not consistent with the spirit of the Christ in and through your life I declare be delivered now but then for whatever call God brought you out here I declare you become a partaker of that grace you will go back and your life will be a visible expression of this grace that you have carried let it be so in the name of Jesus please return to your seat I want to pray for the sick now who is this king of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle amen who is this king of glory the Lord strong
listen because more than just the celebration of the healing power of Jesus I believe that in every region and that includes your region that there are men and women that the spirit of grace seeks to bring into the reality of the healing ministry I can tell you this that our generation has not really seen the healing ministry in its full strength here and there there are people who operate in the gifts people get healed but you need to be a good student of scripture and of modern history to see the spectacular manifestation of the healing ministry as an office and i believe that before jesus returns to the earth there will be a very definite restoration of that mantle that men and women listen carefully will begin to carry the abakas this mantle of healing mantle of healing there are nations that need to be healed not just bodies there are people that need to be healed there are families that need to be healed but for now i want to pray for the sick i believe in a miracle ministry i am a miracle myself i know what it means to be sick and oppressed and i know what it means to see one that is in the name of jesus come to heal come to deliver and so right now wherever you are scattered within this auditorium and following online across the nations of the earth many of you have been afflicted and plagued by all kinds of things many of you are holding death sentences in your hands and in your body i like to agree with you right now wherefore god has so highly exalted him the bible declares and given him an office in a name and that at the mention or at the name of Jesus that every knee will bow of things in heaven of things in the earth and of things under the earth and that every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father so you believe in the healing ministry of Jesus Matthew chapter 10 and verse 1 Jesus commissioned them and gave them power against unclean spirits to cast out demons seven and eight he said that they should go and preach that the kingdom has come and in preaching they should validate the authority of the kingdom by healing the sick by casting out devils by raising the dead that they have received freely and they should be lavish in dispensing that benevolence we've been mandated by God to heal healing is when the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit superimposes the limitations in a human body to cause regeneration to cause creation to cause recovery to cause cure to whatever ailments be it biological largely demonic according to Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 it says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power the Bible declares that he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed healing oppressed healing oppressed not those that were sick those that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him are we together lay your hands wherever you're trusting God for a miracle right now Emmanuel 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 Your name is called Emmanuel Your name is called Just keep your hands there Emmanuel agree with me as I pray right now believe by the power of the Holy Spirit 
Now, there are two things I want you to do very quickly. As I pray for you, we still have a lot to do. The power of God is going to touch you where you are ailing because Jesus has been exalted and glorified here. I sense a very strong move of the, the healing power of Jesus. Now, the moment a miracle happens to you, listen very carefully. I'm going to be declaring by the Spirit and the moment a miracle happens, do what you couldn't do, test yourself. You find out that a miracle has happened. I want you to use either this in front here or just this. Okay, this or that. Either of the aisles, I want you to come and stand. We'll take a few testimonies. Then immediately afterwards, listen carefully. I'm going to minister deliverance one more time. And then did you come with your prayer requests? Now, for those of you who, for whatever reason, you didn't write your prayer request, when I am done praying for the sick, I am going to give you an opportunity and you will quickly write down your prayer request. Everything that has mocked God in your life that you want to wave goodbye once and for all. We are going to collate all of that prayer and I will bring it before the altar of the Lord. I have seen God answer prayers in ways that have changed my life. But my life and answer to prayers changed when I had the honor and the privilege of being alone in the prayer room of our Father in the Lord, Baba Deboe. I was alone in that prayer room and my prayer was not more power. My prayer is, oh God, the covenant and the grace that you have with this veteran of the gospel that has provided answer to prayer, whatever mantle it is, let it come upon my life that from that time, when I bow my knees to pray over people, let there be answers. And ladies and gentlemen, it works like fire. I have seen God answer prayers, but not to this degree. We are products of the graces that we carry. We did not invent these mantles. We also received them from those that have gone ahead of us. And before this conference is over, I'm going to do an impartation somebody in this place must walk out of this place with a superior impartation upon your life that will set you ablaze even for a new season in the name of Jesus are you ready for that did you bring the oil because oil must touch everybody's head in this place this night everybody no matter what it is let me have the oils please did they bring their own or is there and someone advise me do you have bottles of oil here let's have the bottles and the vessels what will happen is that once it's time now on to the one upon the throne we raise a sound we raise a sound bring the oil out someone come and help me this lady come you're beauty you're doing some work so you come and be a woman of god now so you bring the oil out eh? praise the lord by the way i'm going to pray for her yes bring all of them all the bottles out so that we'll pray and still open gates by the spirit for her life and her ministry as god grants us grace this is what we continue to do helping men and women who have stayed through with discipline to find visibility and continue to multiply as they extend the hand of god i know she's not the only one there are many other people let me give you an advice is a is a spiritual advice and is caution do not ever allow lifting make you so proud you see this you see some of these things people do around and crash as soon as they rise 
no matter how high you rise remember that the stability of a tree is based on its connection to the root even the tallest building in the world still makes contact with the ground to stand are we together now yes if god found you sweeping even when god lifts you to the nations bless the nations and run back and carry your broom and continue sweeping we learned that from mordecai after he rode upon the king's horse when he was done he went back and remained there if you are mordecai and you ride on the king's horse will you not go back no 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 the people who said bow the knee now i'm watching you again because if he found you on your knees remain there that is where he lifts you so let me advise you fame and all this lifting they can be very tempting especially when the world begins to celebrate you apostle joshua selman see this this is the thing that destroys many great people the safest position for a believer is on your knees remain where he found you bless the nations enjoy the honor that comes with your grace especially where you serve don't get too big that you feel i'm more anointed than my pastor i'm more famous than him no so i'm using her life as an example you see that now she's singing maybe somebody's going to invite her tomorrow to go and do something and get and bless the nations but now don't be ashamed darling as you are walking and doing this this is where the anointing finds you are you getting what i'm saying now yes people respect you more when they see that you are conscious of authority it shows you were well mentored they will now be able to open you to certain delicate platforms without fear because they understand that there is stability in your understanding people who are easily lawless are people who certain platforms will not open for because nobody wants you to come and destroy age-long sacrifices are we together let me pray for her so that she will go back to her seat god bless you darling stretch your hands towards her may the lord bless you and honor you you will go from glory to glory you will sing his praises across the nations in the name of Jesus, I bless you. May Asaba open for you. New season, new dimension of grace and power. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Let's celebrate her. Huh? God bless you, my dear. Thank you for doing the work here. Now, let's pray for the sick. Two people will shout under the anointing. Immediately that happens, the second person will shout. Now, afterwards... The healing power of Jesus will begin to flow. Let's pray now. In the name of Jesus Christ, please shout a loud Amen, Asaba. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that every spirit that is at the back of any infirmity in your body by the power that raised Christ from the dead we command that spirit to live now we command that spirit to live now therefore I decree and declare be healed in Jesus name I bring life to your body in the name of Jesus Christ every blood disease here represented be healed in the name of Jesus eye conditions be healed in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing someone in your right ear in the name of Jesus I command whether total deafness or partial deafness let that ear be unstopped and open now bone conditions whether you're here on crutches a wheelchair or having all and any kind of bone condition by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare strength to your limbs now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone you've had this for a very long time. Very pounding headache. Looks like migraine. It will come and go and when it comes, you almost cannot do anything. You can even almost fall on the floor. In the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Ghost is touching you now. Touching you now every growth in your body lumps in the breast fibroids and all kinds of growths in any part of your body help those under the anointing in the name that is above all names i declare right now be healed in jesus name 
my God, I sense such a strong anointing. Be healed in Jesus' name. There, there is someone you have problems with your kidney in the name that is above all names. You've been having the pain you think is appendicitis at the right side of your lower abdominal region. And I'm seeing that this is something that is, is like a kidney problem, but at, at, at its infancy. This is what the Lord is showing me. In any case, I decree and declare brand new kidneys for you now. There's someone you don't see well. You're not blind. But you don't see well at all. In fact, from where you are, you're unable to see the stage and the LEDs very clearly. Place your hand on your eyes. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare clarity of vision right now. And for every blind eye, partial or complete, eyes be opened now in Jesus' name. Someone you have uh, there's something around your groin area here like a lymph node but it has remained there for a very long time and it has refused to go right now in the name of Jesus it disappears from your body heart problem I declare healing right now in the name of Jesus there's someone here your elder sister has a son who is autistic the power of God is touching that boy right now we rebuke that, that sign and that trace of autism in the marvelous name of Christ. Pile, painful pile. I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. The issue of blood, it comes under judgment now in the name of Jesus Christ. Even though I'm praying for the sick, the Lord is just ministering someone's case for me. There is an acute manifestation of disfavor in your life to the point that even your own family people are not willing to help you. I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is coming on you right now as I'm speaking and the Lord is saying it was an attack, a programming of darkness over your life. It's not as though you are an evil person. This is a demonic embargo upon you. I don't know where that person is, but I, I just saw fire just into this auditorium. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus and by the prophetic, I remove that embargo from your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help them, that's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Someone you have, your rib, your rib area severe pain in fact you cannot lie down facing the bed you have to just lie down at the side or lie down facing up because there's there's severe pain around your rib right now the power of the holy spirit is touching you in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone you can't do this with your fingers i don't know what the problem is but there, there's been severe pain and discomfort right now the power of god is touching you and he's bringing life he's bringing healing in the name of Jesus. Now, don't be embarrassed. I'm praying and I'm seeing in my vision. There is someone, you're not, it's not lack of hygiene. But I don't know, it looks like um, severe mouth odor. This has embarrassed you. Those very close to you have even encouraged you to do something. You've done all you know to do. I think it, it, it's like you've even seen a, a dentist to just look at everything and find out what is going there. There's a pungent smell that just comes out of your mouth. You've done your best, you've brushed, you've done everything, and it looks like it's not going. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. The power of the Holy Spirit is touching you right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone you have, I think a sister or a relative in the United Kingdom. That person is very sick right now in uk very very sick and if we do not pray i see that that person may not make it 
But in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, the author of life himself, we knock on the door of life for their sake. By reason of this conference, may the Lord preserve them. Even those who are appointed unto death. In the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus Christ, back pain, back pain, like severe back pain around the lumbar area here, the power of God is touching someone in Jesus' name. The Lord is also showing me someone, your hands begin to shake. This is not shaking under the anointing. Your hands just begin to shake like someone who has Parkinson's. You are a young person, but your hand begins to shake and it looks like shock in your body. You know how sometimes you lie down on one side of your body and when you wake up, you have to stretch for blood to flow. There's someone like that. You don't have to lie down, but you feel that shock, that pain. The power of God is touching you right now. There is a gentleman here, your uncle is suffering from prostrate, prostrate cancer. In the name that is above all names, wherever he is, let the power of God right from this auditorium, through the airwaves, may it touch your uncle wherever he is. In the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I decree and declare, be healed right now. Some of you, whilst you fell under the anointing and you came out, God was doing something marvelous in your life. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.